What's up, everybody? This is Kevin Figures for SportsTalkNetwork.tv, and here's what caught my eye this week. Season over. That was a sentiment that many people around the NFL felt when it was revealed that Houston Texans starting quarterback Matt Schaub would likely miss the rest of the 2011 season with a foot injury. Schaub has helped lead Houston to a tie for the best record in the AFC with a two-and-a-half game lead in the AFC South. And with Wade Phillips leading the charge for the NFL's number one ranked defense, Houstoners were getting their reservations ready for Indianapolis this coming February. But now with Schaub out of the picture, those flight plans may need to be put on hold. And now the reins have been turned over to former USC standout Matt Leinart. Now we all know Matt Leinart's story by now. The lowly recruited high school quarterback is given the starting job at USC, wins a national championship and the Heisman Trophy on his way to being recognized as one of the best college football players of all time. His NFL career, however, a little less Cinderella-esque. Liner was drafted 10th overall by the Cardinals in 2006 and was given the reins to an offense that featured offensive weapons like Anquan Bolden, Larry Fitzgerald, and Edron James. But after struggling mightily in his first couple of seasons as the starting quarterback, he was replaced by what many people believe to be an over-the-hill Kurt Warner. Now, of course, Warner, with those same weapons, solidified his spot in the NFL Hall of Fame by doing the unthinkable and nearly leading the Cardinals to a Super Bowl championship. Now, three years later, Liner finds himself with another opportunity to start in the NFL, but this time for a championship caliber team. With a great defense and a dominant running game featuring not one, but two of the NFL's best young tailbacks in Arian Foster and Ben Tate, Liner will be bestowed with the always popular game manager role. But with the pressures of being a top 10 draft pick now behind him, Liner can now simply focus on playing the game of football without the external distraction of being relied on to turn a perennial loser into a contender. The stage can't be set any better for Liner to prove that he can be an effective starter in the NFL. Now it's up to him to take advantage of what will likely be his last true opportunity to do that. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know how you think Liner will fare as the starting quarterback of the Texans. Also be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow me on Twitter at KFig1. For SportsTalkNetwork.tv, I'm Kevin Figures.